Ultros, gay pedophile, according to RPG TV, says he is wiser than Nick Fuentes and has a better hairline than him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Describes himself as an ubermensch when compared to the average groiper. A lot of the people who were in Jane Gang were AF people. I wasn't. I'm older. They posted my age. I'm wiser than them. I also have a better hairline than Beardson, Ralph, Nick, Wurzelroot, and the others. Okay. I am 150 pounds and 6'2". Okay, well, you're underweight then. Which is thinner than 99% of all groupers. If you're 6'2 and 150 pounds, you're severely underweight. Yeah, that's bad. You need to eat. Because I'm 5'9", and my perfect weight was like 173 or 76 or something like that. That's at 5'9", nigga. <laughs> You're 6'2 and 150 pounds? Okay, well, that's an issue. That's not something to brag about. Yeah, you need to be really like, I don't know, 185 maybe. I don't even know if 180, 190 even, yeah. I would say 190 sounds a little more. For 6'2? I don't know. I'd have to look up the chart. Sometimes I think that chart's a little thin, you know, but, you know, I'm fat, so. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost a lot of weight, but I'm still fat. So I sit there and I'm like 173 pounds. Like, what the fuck? Like, I don't know. But even at 170 or 173, which is the weight they gave me, that would still be better. 150 and 6'2 is sickly. I mean, yeah, about 190, 195. Yeah, that's what I would think. I haven't looked at the... They got they have calculators they'll tell you. Yeah, six foot, one sixty five. Yeah, but that's still a couple inches shorter and fifteen pounds heavier. <laughs> right? So even that's a different That's a different paradigm. Ultros, gay man and alleged pedophile on Nick Fuentes. Nick is a gay faggot pedophile, he said. Pedophile. I see. Surprising number of homophobic slurs given, given his proclivities. This isn't even all of them. Six gorillion dollar man yeah. sent ten dollars. He should be 205 at like 15% body fat if we wanted to brag. Yeah, that's just a really weird. You're like 150, six foot two. Okay, eat a sandwich, motherfucker. Like. A greasy hamburger, like 15 of them. Like, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, not good. Ultros once boasted about busting three groupers on Twitter in one day. False flagging was second nature to, for him right behind homosexuality. <laughs> I got three groper Twitter accounts busted yesterday. They are locked out for seven days, Ultros said. Wow, who would have guessed? Who would have guessed Team Judas... Engaging in these type of tactics while they go around and cry about people flagging them. It's almost like exact... I'm coughing again, but I was muted. It's almost like... <laughs> I don't have to make up shit, you faggots. Anyway. It's almost like everything I said in February 2022 was exactly correct. And that all these people lie and flag and do all this shit when they come out in public, wring their hands about other people flagging them justifiably or unjustifiably while they are behind the scenes flagging everybody they can. Wow. I never would have guessed. I never would have guessed that it's always been like this since day one. Ultras was and likely still is in constant contact with law enforcement, documenting and reporting any unpermitted use of his name. Well, that's not how it works. He often attempted to involve me, but I knew it was a complete waste of time and wanted nothing to do with it. Yeah, it is. I have a Google Drive. The police have the Tom AF doxing me and baked and Beardson's channel. I can send you those too. If you want me to send in my own report, I can add the police case number since it is an open investigation still. After Ultros was exposed for liking an image of a cartoon bear sodomizing itself with a baseball bat, Jaden suggested he rebrand. Yeah, that's probably not his worst idea. Oh, Jesus. Is... Heads up, Groypers found, found an, I don't know, I misspelled it. Found that I like this meme about a, about Cubs a year ago. 
It is graphic. But are running with the theme that I'm a gay furry. I locked my Twitter and deleted everything. They are also sharing fake tweets of me. This is six fucking months, but Ralph covered it and claimed I was your top guy. You are. His top gay, actually, is what it sounds like. But, I mean, who's it say? God, I really fucking bothered this guy. Oh, we got Ultra's superior headline, hairline? Oh, wow. It doesn't look very superior. This nigga looks like Steve Jobs when he had cancer. Hold on, wait, wait. This is Ultra's superior hairline? No way. He dresses like Steve Jobs when he had cancer, too. Hold up. No way. Uh, you do not have a superior hairline, sir. I'm 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 afraid to tell you that. Uh, my hairline's superior by a lot. My shit's even thinning out, and it's still superior to that. Are you kidding? My shit's growing out. You'll see soon. <laughs> not that I'm waiting on that. Already. What the? Damn. Oh, Slopehead here talking about his hair superior hairline. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so, Vic. Nah, Victor, I don't think so. Anonymous sent three dollars. Ultros is so wise, man. Look at the way he likes gay furry porn on his mane. Takes some proper wisdom to do that. He's a real old fag for sure. Yeah, he looks like a gayer Mark Zuckerberg. Like what? What the fuck? Zuck before he started MMA training. Who even says they have a superior hairline in the first place unless they're a faggot? First off, I was like, dude, I mean, I might make fun of somebody if they're fully bald, like some people we know. But, uh, it's like, whatever, I don't I mean, <laughs> somebody tried to say that to Dick Masterson. He's like, oh, I got a little spoiler alert for you guys. Like, <laughs> he's like, I'm 42 years old. Like, I mean, <laughs> Uh, we'll see where you're at at 42, right? Like, by the way, his hair is not even that thin, but they try to use that on him. And he's like, oh, well, okay. What an insult. It's like, I'm 42 years old. <laughs> yeah. Your hair gets thinner as you age. Now, if you're completely cue ball and you know, you like to talk a lot of shit, of course you're going to get dunked on. But I remember when he said that, I was like, First off, his hair's not really thin. Might not be as thick as it was when he was 28 or whatever, but <laughs> I was like, yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you get older, right? Like, I mean, you're not supposed to have a fucking. Yeah, exactly. Great hair for 42. He has it in a ponytail all the time. Yeah. These niggas can't grow a ponytail. Shit, I don't know if I can now either. I used to have really long hair, super thick. Now it's thin, like, in these gray patches. But when it grows out, it's not like that. Because there's just more hair. But when I cut it thin, it's like, oh, shit, my hair is a lot thinner than I thought. <laughs> uh, it feels good, though, because it's so hot here in Merida. Yeah, see the mugshot? See how thick my hair is in that? No, it wasn't as gray then. But it'll still get pretty thick. Um, I don't have any complete, like... I don't have any bald spots, but I have spots that are thinner because it's gray hair. And so you can see down on my head where it's like, okay, that shit needs to grow out faster. Anyway, there's Ultros' superior hairline with less hair than I have even when I have it cut down to the fucking skull. Let's see. Heads up, Gorpers found this meme. I talked to Jaden about all of it earlier. If it gets worse, he thinks I should re-roll my identity online. But I wanted to get you a heads up. Wanted you to get a heads up. If you have any questions, you can ask me. I thought I deleted all my tweets in February, but I guess it kept all my likes. Hmm. Jaden was mad at Ultros for failing to lock down his Twitter account where his homosexual fantasies were visible to all and said he didn't understand the meme. Jaden, Judas... Let me reframe this. Jaden is mad I left my Twitter account unlocked. I had no idea they could view my likes when I mass deleted in February. And he didn't understand the meme of posting shit on your opponent's Twitter. 
I just like the tweet. Oh no, Jaden didn't understand him. Ultra says anyone who didn't get the joke are the real furry faggots. He also complains about fake tweets, calling him him a gay sugar daddy. I don't think those are fake. Yeah, but that is the big on. Friend in chat is a huge Cardinals fan and got the joke. The Groypers who are actually furry faggots believe it. They also made fake tweets. Keep saying I'm a gay sugar daddy. Where'd they get that from? I've gotten several removed, but they keep popping up. Ultra says the bear sodomizing itself is a sports joke. Fans of every team do. I don't, I've never, you know, I've watched sports my whole life. Consider myself a major sports fan. And uh, this guy, I've never done that ever. Roy Pedlife sent $5. So did his girlfriend run the Twitter or did he? The faggot story is a web of lies. Yeah, and there's also stuff from the, um, yeah, every pick he has a cap on. Yeah, there's a reason for that. I come out here and do my show without the hat. I've mostly been doing it without the hat recently, actually. Even though my hair's so thin. Because I shaved it off. <laughs> and part of it's gray. <laughs> His superior hairline. Ultra says, like I said, I thought I deleted everything in February. I had no idea likes didn't get wiped. And it is a fucking sports joke that fans of every team do, and I simply like the tweet. I've never seen that before in my life, sir. What the fuck? Just re Yeah, old Uncle Buck talking about the ball game shares a meme of the opposing mascot getting sodomized. Are you crazy? Who even believes that? You must be talking to a non-sports ball nigga when you said that. Right? Because no real sports ball nigga is like, what? Hold up. Nah, dude. Yeah, it's just a sports joke. You wouldn't get it. It's like, yeah, it's his mascot getting sodomized. Yeah, I, that doesn't make sense either. But is he a Cards fan? I don't know. Because he's Southside Cards. Maybe he just lived in Chicago and was a Cardinals fan. I don't fucking know, really. I don't know. That's a weird fuck. I couldn't say. 6'2", 150. Oh, Victor Sharp, huh? He's wise. You know what? I don't think it's wise to get caught up in this type of shit. If I was a grown man who had nothing to do with it. Now, of course, I'm a grown man who has everything to do with it. But it's my job, idiot. <laughs> it's my job to have everything to do with it. Not yours, moron. Yeah, Vince Scully drops the old gay anal joke on the radio. I swear... He must have been talking to a non sport I don't know if if it was RPG and he doesn't have any sports ball knowledge or what. But uh, I don't know. I really don't know. But I've never heard of that one. Okay, let's see. Ultras on Nick Fuentes. He's a deranged sicko who needs to be stopped by the police. Yeah, he is a sicko and deranged. I googled cyber harassment, and there are services to investigate, and I'm sure they could trace it to Nick. He needs to be stopped by the police at this point. He ignored the cease and desist when he was calling Jaden a tranny. A cease and desist don't mean shit. Most people with a brain ignore that because it's nothing. I wipe my ass with a cease and desist. Fucker. Doesn't have any legal authority whatsoever. Some lawyer sent you a letter. I wipe my ass with that shit. I give a fuck about a cease and desist. Cease and desist on these nuts, bitch. Are you kidding me? In an attempt to preempt the October surprise, Ultra sent me talking points he wanted Jaden and I to read on stream. I ignored the request. Jaden didn't. Wow. Something I wanted to run past you, and I'll run past Jaden, but in my opinion, I wonder if we could get ahead of this with a statement where we get ahead of this. He said that twice. You and Jaden can say whatever Ultras did before 2022 when he was dragged into this without his consent, since he isn't a streamer, is irrelevant. Ultras is a supporter of the stream and has no impact on the content. 
Nick is attacking him for supporting our streams and wish to intimidate him and stop supporting our streams. Whatever Ultros has liked or posted in the past is irrelevant as he is not a streamer. He is not a public figure. He has never put his face out there at events. Digging into Ultros' past and his family's history, including mocking his mother's death. Oh, y'all do that. Mocking his mother's death repeatedly is disgusting behavior. He is a super chat. Yeah, well, you motherfuckers encouraged that the whole way through on me. Yeah, has no impact on the content. Here he is sending out his talking points. Yeah, clearly. Clearly no impact on the content. Elon, fuck. Jaden told Ultros to not fear the October surprise since he would sweep it up regardless of what was revealed. Yeah, Jaden wants me to fly under the radar since we 99% know the Sunday surprise is entirely about me. Please don't repeat this. That means Jaden has some leakers, by the way. Jaden wants me to not respond at all, and he said he would handle it. Wow, your boyfriend's going to handle it. How cute. How cute. Ultra says the countless posts that were made over a span of years suggesting he is gay and into twinks was shit posting and blames it on his shit lib friends. I mean, we have everything they're going to use. It's shit from eight years ago when I had shit lib friends and wasn't red pilled and shit posting on Twitter. He was shit posting about being a homo. Okay. Well, you know what? I don't believe that. I believe you were a homo. <laughs> I believe you were gay, actually. And still are, because you don't become ungay. But when Ultros melted down, which was a near daily occurrence, he would often message me to let me know Jaden wasn't answering his calls. Oh no. Jaden isn't answering the phone. Who will report it? Oh my god. Who will report it? Telegram doesn't care. Do I call the cops again? Who will tell me they can't do shit? Wow, it's funny how the police do that. They almost never can do shit. <laughs> Because they don't care. Wow, who would have guessed that about the police? They don't actually give a fuck about you. Wow, I never see that coming. Oh, man. You mean the police don't give a fuck about almost anything? Except collecting their pay? Wow. I didn't learn that when I was 12 years old. <laughs> wow, who would have guessed the police are corrupt scum? Not here, though. They're great. <laughs> Except here. They're top flight here in Merida, Mexico. And I've had no issues with them whatsoever. I can't say the same about American law enforcement. Corrupt fucks. RPG says, I don't want you to think I'm gay because I'm not. Spoken like a true hetero. Yeah. Blank can explain the gay posting that they linked it, that they linked. It was literally me shit posting. I just don't want you to think I'm gay because I'm not. Yeah, that usually doesn't have to be said unless you're gay. Then you have to say it a lot because everybody thinks you're gay. Yeah, they never fucked with me either, Kid Frost. I wasn't joking about that. Holy shit. Worse than we thought. Ultras is a histrionic little faggot. Probably literal faggot. Holy shit. Crying every day because he can't get his shit reported on Telegram. Like, what? Just like a fucking effeminate homosexual would do. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. This doesn't... <laughs> this doesn't help your case, Victor. Oh. The gay logs sweeping it up. Well, half of their team's funded by this guy. I got to give slight kudos to, to RPG for turning on him so quick. Because, uh, I mean, he earned it. The guy did by, you know, spreading a bunch of lies about him. But he has been putting out some gold so far on Ultros. You know it causes Ultros to just lose his shit, too. Oh, and their cope is, oh, he knew about it. Look the other way. First off, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. 
I don't give a fuck. The important part is him airing that shit out now. I don't give a shit. And then what? He's going to fuck giving some money back. That's the dumbest thing ever. Whatever family wealth the Sharps have accrued, it's funny knowing that their gay grandson Victor is wasting it all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. What is Jaden going to say to this? He'll sweep it up. He'll sweep it up. He'll definitely sweep this up. With a huge smile on his face, he will sweep, sweep, sweep. Sweep, sweep, sweep. That's what he'll do. Guaranteed. Guaranteed he'll he'll gloss over everything and then he'll say fees this and fees that and then that'll be it. Golden boy, if he sent ten dollars now, wait a minute. Now wait just a minute. Yeah, and so I was talking about because I went to this gay pride parade and I saw in it there were these uh, old men and old ladies like with these uh, signs that said, "We are proud of our gay son," you know. And so I was saying that's an odd thing to be proud of, you know, because it's not an achievement, you know. It's not like something you work all your life to be gay or anything like that. And I, I just wondered. I just I, I had a hard time believing that. These 50, 60 year old men are actually bragging. You like know, the stream on Rumble. Yeah, hey, uh, Bill, you know, uh, my kid. Oh my God, we're proud of him, Johnny. He uh, uh, graduated from Harvard, you know, a first in his class, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, now he's articling over at a law firm, and uh, oh yeah, he loves cock. Ah! You know? <laughs> he can't get enough cock in his mouth, his ass, his kids always cock. I got a, I got a picture of the boy here sucking another man's cock. I want to show it to you. To so watch the maturation of you as an artist to realize it took you nine and a half minutes to get around to the sucking cock stuff. It's beautiful to see you comfortable in your own skin, Army. All right. Oh, that's Ultra's beaming bundle of joy there. Wow, that's a lot of Ultros leaks. We read all of them on air, I think. Oh, no, there's more. Oh, no, there's more. Oh, wow. Ultros after Groypers discovered his fur affinity account. The Groypers are now doxing the wrong blank. I never even heard of this site before. Yeah, right. The next drop is a Tumblr account my ex-girlfriend set up for me and reposted nothing but gay shit. I'm going to go to bed after the stream, but in case Jaden didn't tell you, the next drop is a Tumblr account from 10 years ago my psycho ex-girlfriend set up. I've shown Jaden her picture on my Facebook. Well, that says it all. But anyways, it retweets shit lib stuff and gay stuff. I'm not sure if they have anything else, but it was literally all retweets and not a single post by me. Yeah, none of those accounts exist for me, Vic. When trying to take down Cozy, Jaden attempted to convince the web host hate crimes were being committed because, quote, a gay person was under attack. Ah! No, where's the... There's it. Is. No! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 No way! Are you kidding? So that's Jaden admitting it then, isn't it? Oh, man. Beerson, did you hear that? When trying to take down Cozy, Jaden attempted to convince the web host that hate crimes were being committed because, quote, a gay person was under attack. Holy shit. Holy shit. Jaden says him calling me a gay pedophile is the best way to report him and say it's a hate crime or whatever. Oh, no. Not good. Jane said he reported it that it was a gay person under attack. That angle may be the best way to go. These companies are run by shit lib and shit lives and gay rights is a priority for them, I say. Wow. Yeah, it may be the way to go. Cause it's true. It may be the way to go for that reason too. I wonder if I can even start the telegram stream. It's not working right. What the fuck? There it goes. Well, yeah, Jaden agrees with us, too. I mean, that's cool that he finally came around. Actually, he came around way before we knew. He just did it in private. So sad. So sad. So let me see if I can fix this setting. Okay, it should be okay here. 
Okay, there's more, by the way. That one right there might be the best. Uh, that might actually be the best. Beardson says, I'm glad we can all sit here and say once and for all that Victor Sharp is gay. Well, Jaden himself said it. I mean, they reported it to these companies. Ultras approved of this tactic saying everything is fair game. Wow. Who else said that, huh? Wow. Who else said that? Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Everything is fair game, huh? I think I heard that one before. Huh. It's almost like I was saying the truth the way it was, the way the game has been played the whole time I've been playing the game, and people didn't like me saying that out in public. It's almost like they scapegoated that comment and made up a bunch of bullshit and a bunch of lies when that's how everybody's been playing the whole entire time. And they come out in public and they say they're not playing that way, but that's the way they're playing, and so is everybody else. Because there's no other way to play the game. Unless you want to lose. So it's almost like I took a comment that's obvious, really. I mean, in this sector, in this business, everything is fair game. And it, you don't have to say it's right. It's not giving it a value judgment. It's not saying that's the way it should be. It's not saying that's the way it ought, you know, it ought to be. I love it. It's telling it how it is. Everything is fair game in this sector, and it's always been that way, and it's always been cutthroat, and it's always been nasty. The whole time I've been around it, which is a lot longer than almost anybody else, it's always been cutthroat. It's always been nasty. It's always been doxing in public and saying or or doxing in private saying you're not in public putting out every single piece of dirt you could ever find on a motherfucker that's going at you falsities going around about people as well no fucks given rumor and innuendo spread fake shit made up like I said just out of thin air it's always been like this it's not something new it's always been this way now some people some people find it out sooner rather than later or are hip to this immediately. I wasn't hip to it immediately, but I remember when I got brought into Medicare, actually he was internet aristocrat then, but brought into his Skype group and saw all the machinations that was that were going on there versus what was being said in public and knew about all these other rival Skype groups who were doxing people and this was during Gamergate. This was almost 10 years ago. This was nine solid years ago. Very close to 10. And I said, oh, all these people are full of shit. Oh, they're not. It's really going on like this. It's really one way behind the scenes, and it's presented another way in public. That's why Jim doing his whole Kraut and Tea thing, I knew that was garbage the whole time. But I also thought it was funny because Kraut and Tea was one of the big guys saying, oh, you can't dox, and da 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 and he was one of the main doxers. So I didn't really care because it was exposing Crown T, but I knew that was trash. Jim's been doxing motherfuckers since before I was ever even around. <laughs> right? They've been doxing people since the aughts and tr- doing all kinds of trolls and rip trolling and everything you could imagine. That's how this nigga came up. And so to clutch pearls over anything, over anything online is ridiculous from a faggot like that. Because I know his history, and a lot of these people don't, and they're morons, but I do. And I, I don't know it because I was a part of it. I know it because I went and learned it and found out. That's what I did. Beardson says it's funny that they're pulling this Ultros isn't a public person thing when they went after all our families. Yeah, I agree. And they went after super chatters of ours, and they went after whoever they could find. And they've hacked my killstream.tv. They've done every dirty thing you could ever imagine. Try to take down Cozy. Try to flag us off Twitter. Gotten us flagged off Twitter. Gotten us put back. We got ourselves put back. You know what I mean? Like, they've done everything you could imagine. Try to get them demonetized. Try to fuck up their web host. And then talk about, oh, you're about life ruination. Now, you motherfuckers are about life ruination. What's done to you is a response to how you fucking came out in the first place. 
And I think a lot of us have shown with RPG. I don't give a fuck. Like, he stops talking shit. And he's done some other things, too. Gotten right out of some of these fuckers. I don't have a problem with him. I don't give a fuck. Now, am I going to forget every single thing? No, probably not. <laughs> no, I can think of a couple things that will be kind of hard to forget. But uh, I'm sure he could think of a couple things that will be pretty hard for him to forget, too. So, you know, it is what it is. It was a war. There were some casualties. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't... Uh, it's I don't care. Like it's like whatever. Okay. What is that rat Alberto up to? He's been trying desperately to hop on the um the hate Feaser campaign or whatever. He sucks. Like he's terrible. He sucked sucks and he's propped up by like the the biggest Jim Walkers you could imagine, the biggest Jim dick suckers. All because Jim said something nice about him a couple times and Jim's just trying to pet this retard on the head you know what i mean like this guy's not gonna be anything <laughs> this guy's a total loser he's garbage all of his content sucks he's not funny he can't monitor debate he can't do anything and so this whole idea that uh it's gonna be a michael alberto takeover is retarded i don't care who likes who they're they're wrong if they're <laughs> thinking this guy's talented <laughs> which is what i'm talking about talent and he doesn't have it and by God, I know talent. And you know what's funny is I think he's better on like a panel show. We had him on a few times. I've said this before. I thought he worked better with an interlocutor that could kind of guide the conversation, but he's an idiot. So if he's the top banana, it sucks. And he doesn't know how to MC a conversation. He doesn't have any gravitas whatsoever. And he's a moron. So, yeah, I saw Vince Dow and Juden's Ju Ju chat the other day, actually which I thought was funny. I almost mentioned it on air. That was the only time I happened to watch him in months. Alberto got Kinoche unbanned from Twitter in under an hour using his connections. Offered it to Medicare. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, but Kinoche should have been banned as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I did see they restored him. I was still monitoring the situation yesterday. I had several people message me about him getting banned. And then I slept most of the day, so I got up and saw that he had gotten restored. So I was like, oh, he got banned and restored. It's like, oh, I didn't quite get him. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, he's despised for a reason. He's a lying faggot. I wouldn't care what happened to him online or anywhere else. I wouldn't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't know. I can't comment on anybody else. Ivana. But I can I can give my opinion. And these people suck. They're not talented. They've been astroturfed by Medicare to have any type of presence whatsoever. And the only reason Alberto had any presence in the first place because he was like the house retard over here at Cozy. And he had made this shitty video. It's a shitty video, too, about Nick. <clears throat> and Nick's being nice to him. He's like, oh, he's watching on air and then befriends him a little bit. That's Nick being nice to this guy. The video sucked. Everything he's ever done sucks. He's not funny. He doesn't have any real knowledge of the lore, quote-unquote, which is what he's supposed to know. Yeah, he was the Make-A-Wish kid here on Cozy. That's right. That's exactly right, S.O. Not talented. The video is skin deep in terms of knowledge. Unfunny. Wrong in certain areas. It's like, okay, you just made it. And I remember it was another documentary of his we looked over. It's like you made a quote-unquote two-hour documentary, and there's like several key facts that are wrong. Okay, that can't happen. Pull it down then because it's this is a joke. Like, what? You put out a two-hour exhaustive video on a subject and, like, several key things are wrong? I mean, that can't happen. <laughs> that can't happen. Yeah, Nick's like that. Rabbi says Nick is always hospitable to people he interacts with. Fuck these disloyal snakes. Yeah, he is. Even people who don't deserve it, really. He's trying to be chummy and friendly. I'm the same way. If you listen to that interview with that whore... 
I did on Sunday that I walked out of, hung up on. I played it on the air on Monday. And it's like I'm being perfectly nice and being cool. But they start talking shit. They start being a you know, stuck up con. It's like, fuck you, bitch. Like, I'm not gonna sit here for that. Fuck you. <laughs> but I'm always like that. It's like till they give me a reason not to be. It's like, all right, well, I mean, if it's fuck me, then you know it's fuck you. But I go into every interview and every appearance, you know, chummy and nice. Like, it's just like I'm talking to somebody in real life. I don't start off hating a motherfucker. Like, I don't know. It's really weird. And then this person, I guess they thought they were going to get an hour of just like talking shit and like snarky digs. It's like nobody watches your bitch ass show in the first place. Maybe if you had a bunch of viewers, I would sit here for this. <laughs> probably not. I'd probably hang up anyway. But I'll at least think about it. Like six people watch this show. I'm not wasting a fucking hour of my life with some fucking dumb whore who can't do what I do and is insanely jealous for that reason. I'm not going to sit here and listen to that. Yeah, you're a hobbyist for a reason, bitch. Because you're not good enough to be a professional. That's why you're a hobbyist. That's why. That's what separates a hobbyist from a professional. Almost every single hobbyist would much rather be a professional. And that's just the truth. Ask them if you don't believe me. They would rather be a professional. And there's nothing wrong with being a hobbyist. But know your limitations, whore. And it's like, I'm doing this person a favor by even showing up on their no-name fucking show that nobody watches. And I really just did it because I told myself I was going to do more shows. You're sitting there like, well, fuck it. I'm not even wasting my time talking to this bitch. Fuck out of here. Sorry. I was. <laughs> it made me think about that. Where it's like, yeah, I try to be nice to people too. And they, they're using me as a setup for their content. When they, If they would have just did a regular interview... And ask me regular questions in a res even somewhat respectful way, they would have got way more content out of it. Because I was down to talk about anything. Think of all the shit they could have asked me about and all the areas they could have taken that to. And instead they got 10 minutes of us talking shit back and forth. And then I hung up. See, they don't even know what they're doing. They don't understand the game at all. It's like, okay, well, keep them on the line. <laughs> Keep him on the line, stay somewhat respectful, keep it above board, and you'll have a whole hour's worth of content, and you can ask all that stupid Kiwi Farm bullshit if you want. You would at least have me talking on air about it, right? Instead, you get 10 minutes of us throwing insults back and forth, and I hung up. Total amateur. There's the reason you're a hobbyist. I hate to give this game away for free because people pay money for that type of advice, but... <laughs> But, you know, I love the fans, and <laughs> I love talking shit, so I can't help it. But literally, that's the type of advice people pay money for. It's like, yeah, keep them on the line. Like, what are you doing blowing your wad like that? I already knew she didn't like me, too, by the way, but I still showed up. But I ain't going to sit for that trash. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.